A lot of Dr. Needs go to welcome back to AZH Wound Center in Milwaukee, Wisconsin for another edition of the Wound Care Window. You may remember this patient from uh, a few weeks ago. He presented after a uh, potential frostbite versus burn type of injury. I'm going to show you what happened here. You, uh, you caught this on your sock, what, earlier today? Yesterday. Yesterday. So he was putting his sock on and this digit was caught and pulled. And if you look real closely over on this side, you can see that the tissue is granulated nicely, but the necrotic digit is just sort of hanging by a thread, literally the tendon uh, thread. And so we're gonna take this off because we don't want them to continue to traumatize. This is lamb's wool that you see here. We don't want them to continue to traumatize the tissue. Uh, I suspect that with taking this off, it'll continue to granulate. This is called auto amputation, where the mummified digit sort of separates over time. So let's go ahead and uh, help him in his auto amputation. What I'm doing is I'm coming down right across that non-viable tendon. And as it's non-viable, it's non-sensate. So he's not having any pain with this, right? No pain? Mm -hmm. So there we go, there's a, a dead toe. Now we always ask patients when we do this, you want to take that home, put it under your pillow? Yeah, maybe the toe fairy. Will come. The toe fairy, that's absolutely right. I don't know what their toe fairy is paying these days, but it's probably worth it, don't you think? So we're going to turn our attention now to this fourth digit and as you'll note, the granulation tissue is starting to develop around the base of this necrotic tissue. I'm going to actually help it along a little bit and take some of this necrotic tissue uh, in an effort to allow that granulation to continue to develop and hopefully do the same thing that we see here, complete, near complete granulation tissue of the, the wound base. And again, as this is necrotic, this really shouldn't be too tender. Now this one's going to be a little bit different than that. It looks like we have some bony tissue that's still there. It may not allow us to get a complete amputation. <clears throat> Gain some bleeding tissue, which is good. I'm trying to stay in that viable, non-viable plane. It guides us in our debridements. And you can see this is bone here, so we're gonna come down on that. So frostbite can be a real problem. Uh, people can lose only digits as you see here, but lose most of their foot extremity this is the proximal phalanx you can see this here again necrotic and that phalanx is going to have to be debrided at a later time because we are unfortunately having that in the wound okay I'm coming down on the joint and there we go so this has been amputated we see the mid phalanx there distal phalanx there this is the proximal phalanx that was the uh, IP joint PIP joint but reasonably healthy at least this is not going to catch anywhere now we'll watch this granulate potentially come back and take this bone uh, to facilitate the full amputation uh, potentially send them to one of our but I actually colleagues to help us with that as needed. We're going to continue to watch this digit. The Kent imaging shows significant uh, granulation and perfusion underneath. The hope is that this is just externalized and we can salvage this digit. But again, we'll watch that uh, a little longer. So we got two toes for the toe fairy. That's double the fun. I would put them under two different nights. You know, don't do them all in one night. You know, she'll rip you off. She'll give you a two for a moment. <laughs> So I hope you've enjoyed this edition of the Wound Care Window. We'll see you next week.